We're going to take a quick look at the CCI segmented HP Hyper Velocity. This is 22 long rifle. It is a segmented hollow point moving along pretty quickly, 1,640 feet per second, 32 grains. My 10 shot average out of the Ruger 1022 20 inch barrels coming in a little bit lower at 1,607 feet per second. Now this is an interesting bullet. Your 22s are typically going to be little hollow points that will mushroom or round nose solids that will penetrate. This is uh, category three I guess you could say. Of course you got your little 22 shot shells also. This is a segmented bullet. It is designed to break apart on impact. Now you only see two segments here but it is supposed to break into three and that's actually what happened. This is that 25 yard shot just a moment ago into those water jugs. It blew apart jug number one but then a segment of that flew out the side and is a wall so we have one that's missing laying in the yard somewhere but we're going to try this in a ballistic gel block and i hope to capture all three pieces before we get to the block a quick look at the steel this was 25 yards open sights no scope we had two shots on top of each other and then three up here that are coming in as a one inch group on the 50 yard target, my point of aim was actually in the white. So this is shooting high for me in the Ruger 1022. Have a couple of flyers up here, but these three are coming in between an inch and an inch and a quarter. So there is some accuracy potential, especially if you have a scope. Now we're ready for the block. This is SimTest Media, recalibrated to match ballistic gel specs. This block is 13 inches in length. It weighs 16 pounds. BB calibration from 10 feet was 3.6 inches. Air temp is 54 degrees and the block temp is 64. We're going to tag this from 25 yards with the Ruger 1022. There's the point of entry and I have what could be an exit point for one of the fragments over here on the right side. Here is what happened inside the block. I'll give you a close-up of these three segments in just a moment. This is the left side of the block as I was cutting point of entry here and you see the segmentation start to take place about three quarters of an inch to an inch in. This is the track of segment number one. This traveled four and three quarter inches, one inch to the left, and then one and a half inches up, relevant to the point of entry in what would have normally been a straight track, okay? Here's number two. That traveled five and a quarter inches, one and a quarter inch to the left, and then one and a half inches down from the point of entry, down to the, or over to the right side of the block, point of entry, and this one traveled pretty much straight, but it did deviate to the right one and a half inches, and it traveled a depth of five and one quarter inches. All three segments weighed together is coming in at 30 grains. This is an interesting concept. Just be aware of the fact that your energy transfer is going to be distributed in three different directions and you're going to have minimal penetration compared to other conventional loads that we have tested. Thanks for watching.